You know from the Watch Me First video that these demonstrations do not repeat the important details of the context and progress of Dr. Trina Paulus's study in Chapter 9, so we'll assume you've read that chapter, and I'll start with just a quick high-level refresher of the study by talking through the stages of the project from the diagram on page 169. The first stage analyzes a sample of the initial posts by newcomers to seven different grief forums, and the analysis concluded by identifying eight discursive features in the forum posts. Trina defines a discursive feature as language that enacts a particular function, like telling stories to display empathy. At the end of the first stage, Trina and Mary Alice produced a manuscript, and based on the journal reviewer's suggestions, they shifted in the second and third stages to analysing all the initial posts to just one grief forum, rather than a sample of posts to seven different forums, as they had done in the first stage. In the second stage, they set up a new Atlas TI project using the eight discursive features they had found in the first stage as a starting point for the new analysis, which in the third stage led to a published article. Finally, in the fourth stage, they took the project forward by analysing the posts from forum members that were replies to the newcomer's initial posts. The analysis of these reply posts led to another published article. The first stage was conducted in version 6 of Atlas TI, and those Atlas TI project files are no longer available. So, as Trina describes, she begins her demonstration with how the second stage was implemented in Atlas TI. Hi, this is Trina Paulus, and this video illustrating our case is going to start with the second stage of our analysis, phase four. And that's because the earlier stages and phases were done either outside of the software or in earlier versions of the software in project files that we no longer have access to. And this is actually a logical consequence of doing long-term studies uh, in that the software changes over time. And especially when you're working with collaborators, it can be hard to keep track of multiple project files. The first thing that you'll see here is that in phase four, we were constructing a refocused data set for our analysis. And what we had to do was download 107 threads from the online grief support group that you'll see here in the documents. I'm going to open the document manager so that you can see where they are here and we can preview them. And then if we just go ahead and open one, uh, what we did to create this was literally just copy and paste the content from the website into a new text document. Unfortunately, there's no easy way to capture online discussion forum data directly into Atlas TI yet. You will also see, as described in Phase 4B, that we included the original URL at the top so that we could always go back to the original data source if we needed to. I'm actually not sure if Atlas 8 allows you to copy and paste new document files yet, but that will hopefully be coming. So our refocus data set includes a separate document for each of the threads from the online support group that we wanted to analyze. Moving on to phase five, because we had already done some work outside of this project file, we knew which codes we wanted to start working with. And so you'll see by looking in the code manager that we have several here. And these reflect what was going on in the conversations between the people who were experiencing grief. And so we created those codes and we defined them so that we would both be applying them in the same way. And that's really important with a collaborative project like this. We also uh, created a variable memo which we attached to 
the posts that we felt didn't quite fit the pattern that was starting to emerge about how people talked about their grief. And you'll see we attached that memo to 28 different posts that we would then look at later on in the analysis. If I were to do this again, and you'll see in the next project file, we actually went ahead and used a code to represent the variability instead of the memo. But at this point, we were using the memo to capture that variability. Because we were working together as a team, in phase 5a, you'll see that we defined the unit of analysis in advance. And because we wanted to be sure that both Mary Alice and I were attaching our codes to the same part of the data, we actually created a freestanding quote of the first post, and then we attached all of our codes to the same section of the data. And in phase 5b, we then made two copies of the project so that each of us could do some work, and then we would merge those files later.